I think in every single opening, I scratch my notes. Probably. Like, whenever you hit the play button or press the space button, the side of my nose gets itchy and I have to adjust. I feel like we need to shift everything. I feel like there's more of my chair. Well, I don't know. I guess I just don't sit back. Um, so... I Welcome think I've worn pants already, too, but I mean, whatever. Outfit repeater. I think I've worn these two out, well, so. Like, I'm not going to buy a new pair of pants every single time. I might. <laughs> I might. Anyways, welcome back to the Espresso Chateau. It's getting too many episodes to remember, so I'm just not going to say welcome to what episode, because here we are. Yeah, so um, in the Discord, it's ironic, because I was just asking about what shows people thought ended too soon, and I know this is super random. But I was bringing up the Discord because I'm also going to message Ainsley to see if she's available for a podcast because you guys all wanted her. So. And for those of you who don't know who Ainsley is, she's our third sister. We only have three. There's only three of us. Yeah. But like of the of two of us already, she's the third and final. Well, first, I guess. Yeah, she's the oldest. What is in my coffee cup, you may ask? <laughs> Said no one. <laughs> I've got a pistachio latte. At first, it was an iced hazelnut oat shaken espresso. Mm -hmm. But heated it up. How does that taste? Sorry, it's not my favorite coffee place. So, I don't know. I just am very picky about my espresso now. And coffee. Duncan, on the other hand, they could literally put dirt in a cup and I would drink it and think it's good. Just because it's Duncan? No, but their coffee is very good. Interesting. I'm trying to think of like how to turn off the alerts on my PC because every time, like Ainsley responded. Okay, um, just mute messages. Oh, a little D and D. I get you. Ooh. Ainsley? She can't come because she's playing Dungeons and Dragons on No, Saturday? do not disturb her. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Dungeons and Dragons. I'm, in fact, I want to play. I did not say it any in a negatory way. I literally just asked. No, I know, but I'm saying we should play. Okay, what did you say at first? <laughs> Why? When we first started, because I was oh. going to build on it, and I was like, that's so weird that you said that, because I have... So, I was asking about shows you think that ended too soon. Okay, right, and I was going yeah. to actually start off with shows, because... I'm in the middle of watching Suits, and I'm bored of it, to be honest. It's the same thing over and over and over. Well, not the same thing, but like, you know what I mean, like law. So. I've heard mixed reviews about Suits. I heard the first couple seasons were good, and then it just kind of went down. Yeah, down. yeah, I'm on the sixth season, and like, it's okay. It's good, but yeah. I know like after this, it's just going to go downhill, so I'm like kind of expecting it. But... A show. I wish they didn't end Pretty Little Liars the way they did. Like, <laughs> well, it's based it on the books. entire like a big like lead up, and then all of a sudden the last episode, it was like, by the way, this is this person, and this happens. Yeah, I should have just said the ending because if you haven't watched Pretty Little Liars by now, then you probably you can't know. even say that you just watched it. And I feel like I was the last person on earth to. <laughs> You're not the last person on earth to watch it. I still haven't seen The Matrix, and here we are. I still don't have that movie spoiled for me. I still genuinely do not know what happens. Yeah, I don't know what that is anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's a movie. It's good. it's good. Well, I do, since we did have a whole thing about movies already, like we did... There's just some to go back to. Yeah, I don't think we actually talked about it like, the entire podcast, to be honest. I think we got a little off track, which we usually do, but, you know... I think it's because that's all we did when we were kids. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm a big book reader. For you know what? I actually joined readers. the book club. In person or online? It's online. Okay. <laughs> I'd be like, I should just invite you to the Discord, honestly. What kind of books do you read, though? No, like, it, they're not, like, necessarily, like, together. Mm. It's, like, everybody, like... There's different things where it's like the recommendations, what you're currently reading, like, oh, cool. and it's all like, you know, like fantasy, romance, mystery. Yeah, I'd do that. It's pretty cool. It is. I read two books in the past two days. 
why? Why? It's because it was so good. That's mm-hmm. why I'm like I stayed up till like two last night reading it because I needed to finish it. Like I can't go to bed. You went to bed at like eight reading a book, and like you lose track of time. Like the pages just keep flipping. Interesting. It's a good book. You can read it if you want. I will. Actually, I need to finish a book. Like, the book I have. Yeah, you're reading one of the books that's, like, super popular right now, though, aren't you? But the thing is, is that it pisses me off because I liked it first. Like, you know when you read something before it becomes all mega super popular all, out of, all of a sudden? I read this book, I shit you not, way back in, like, 2019. And then over the last two years, this book has become just, like, such a fad. Everybody reads it. It's so good. That series is amazing. I'm like, Bitch. we started like me and some girls started a book club three years ago, I think now. And one of the girls had recommended the books. We never did it because it was like thick. We were just starting. It was like, okay, let's not start with a started six hundred page novel. Mm-hmm. So we <laughs> never book got, club. yeah, we never got around to it. Well, it was just like we wanted to meet once a month. Like how long people were busy, school, work, and stuff. So wanted something that were just easy reads that we would be able to read in time but me i'd have to wait because i can read a book in a day usually when i when it's a good one yeah this is a good book so usually i would read it like as soon as we would buy it and decide on the book and then by the time book club came around i was like i can't remember what happened i've read three more books in between i haven't read any well i've read read two but that's my first one this year last year i read 34 bucks, I think. That's good. You can, like, keep track. See, the thing for me is that, like, I'm so specific on the type of books. Like, I want fantasy. Let I me, want fantasy romance. Like, that is it. Let like, me introduce you to your new best friend here. Okay? It's called Likewise. The app is a little orange pinky. This is not sponsored, but you know what? I'm willing to give it to them. Because it's the perfect app, actually. It's books, but it's Tinder for books. Tinder for so, books. So yeah, so you put in what you like and what you look for, what you've already read, and it'll give you recommendations. So then you just swipe. It'll give you recommendations, and you just swipe left if you don't want to read it. And then if you do want to read it, you save it. But it'll even do it for podcasts and TVs and movies and stuff. It's really cool. And then you can go to my stuff like books. Yeah, 31 books I read last year. Okay, um, we are definitely, we can link that down below. That's super fascinating. It is really cool. And then you can keep like a tab on all the books that you want to read. That's actually sick. It is. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And then the more like obviously info you add into it, the better your suggestions get. It's very cool. I mean, you only get like 10 swipes a day. As bad as that sounds. And then you can talk to people too. Like the community. If you go underneath a book that you like or read, it's like everybody talking and... About the book. Yeah. That's actually really cool. cool. It is a very cool book. Well, app, I guess. That's sick. Yeah, it's really nice. I also realized that this will be the first podcast with like the new hair. I chopped all mine off and I guess you're getting yours tomorrow. I chopped eight inches off already. Really? Eight inches? Yeah. Believe it or not, I cut off six inches. She said easily it was six that we cut off my hair. I know. I cut off so much that she cut it dry first because she's like, I'm not wasting that much product. (laughs) So I'm going to chop your hair first dry and then we'll do it. Wasting. Yeah. (laughs) But it'll be even newer. How are you yawning already? (laughs) Sorry. The best other episodes. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just this room and it's like quiet. And I know we're drinking coffee, but... Do we need to put on some lo-fi? Lo-fi? Did you hear Willow? <laughs> probably. I did, but the speaker probably did um, that. Yeah, maybe we should add some music. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, She's just talking to us. <laughs> She's like, I'm part of the podcast too. Luna's about to freak out down the stairs if she gets close. She won't. She never barks at her. They just stare each other down. So uh, I want to mention when we talked about fashion. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Remember how I was saying, I was like, oh, like, I want a leather jacket, like, yeah. a Formula One one, like, it would be really, really nice. You found one. So, McLaren came out with a collab for, with Reese, like, mm-hmm. this clothing store, and I was like, cool, like, some of these coats are actually, like, sick, like, sweaters and t-shirts and stuff. Yeah, but it's and then player. I saw one had a leather jacket, and I was like, oh, cool, like, I wonder what it is. So, I'm going, the t-shirts are, like, 98 pounds, like, it's in British pounds, so I was like kind of steep but if it's a nice leather jacket okay go the sherpa jackets were like 160 and i was like okay hey, what's bad, the conversion right now 1.5 so you'd be paying like if it's 150 i'd be paying close to 225 <laughs> canadian that's canadian. not bad for a leather yeah no that's the sherpa mm. i get to the leather jackets 900 british pounds so it's real leather I sure hope it is. You probably got fur in there too. Yeah, like boots with the fur. Man, like, oh my gosh. No fur. But it is a really nice leather jacket. And I was like, mm, but I don't have 900. Was the point of that that the leather jacket was Ferrari? No, it was McLaren. Oh, it is McLaren? All of it's McLaren? All of it, yeah, oh, okay. it's just McLaren x rays No, the point of it was like, I was so pumped. Like, who cares if it's McLaren? Like, they were very nice jackets. Like, good looking ones. Mm-hmm. And uh, they were $900. Like, it was like a tease, like, kind of. Because they had socks, and it was like 25 pounds. And I was like, okay, this is going to be good. This is going to be... It's going to be a little expensive, but it's not going to be like, you know, genuine leather expensive. Imagine if there's just one again. currency for the world. <laughs> they wouldn't have to worry. Well, it's going to create a lot of problems. I know. But still, imagine, like, so if it's 900 pounds, it's 900 bucks, and you're like, okay. <laughs> mm. No upcharge. If they just accepted the currency. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be great. And I would probably be broke if that happened because there's so many things that are like British pounds. Yeah. That I'm like, no, I can't. Well, see, that's the thing is that there's a lot of, when it comes to clothing, and I know we had a full podcast about clothing, but like, it's just, it's a part of my life. When it comes to clothing, overseas has it so well. Everything is so much nicer. Mm-hmm. Like they have the best styles. They have the best, like everything yeah so it's like i'm forced to order and like i was looking at even um have you heard of odd muse have you seen their tiktoks they're just like dresses and they're very simple but they're very clean but every time i go and like put one of my carts like oh shipping's 40 dollars. i'm like okay tip me over the edge like i was about to buy a 200 hundred dollar dress from you and that 40 dollars just you I can't, can't even find it. like. Do you use like honey or anything like that? Yeah, like, I use honey. It's like a very small brand, like local. Well, not local anymore, but it was like a very small brand, and um, usually they don't really have honey discounts. Fair. If you do, let me know. That'd be great. Because <laughs> they are super cute dresses. But yeah, I see them all over. I guess like everybody's TikTok algorithm is different, so. My TikTok algorithm doesn't make sense, and I don't understand how it tracks it. I, like, if it's based off of conversations alone, I still don't get it. Because, like, there's, like, like, I was on crime talk for the longest time. And, like, it was actually tragic because I'd wake up, can't sleep, open TikTok, and I'm getting some tragic story about someone... Yeah, but then, like, you just, like, click on their profile, and you have to start from part one, and then go all the the way to part, like, 47. I freaking hate all, like, the part ones, and, like, I'm such a... For a while there, I was caught in the realm of, um, the movie scenes, Mm -hmm. where, like, you get a clip, and you're like, okay, you gotta go to the... Yeah, it's like, (laughs) either I haven't seen this before, what movie is it from, and, like, I'm trying to find (laughs) the part that says what movie it is in the caption, even though they all do, or it's a part I've seen before, and it's just, like, and then you just go, and you, like, watch the movie through TikTok. (laughs) It's like, what is the point of this? No. Do we have TikTok shop in Canada? I've heard so many people talk about TikTok shop, and I don't understand. I don't know. Canada doesn't even have the creator shit. Oh, yeah. Well, they should get on that. I don't think we're ever probably going to, to be honest. I try so hard to upload to TikTok, but, like, I was really good at it. But then, like, I reached a point of just, like, burnout. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of For work. TikTok. Like, yeah, because it's, like, it's got to be snappy. You can't And it's just... got to be, like, multiple times a day. Like, you can't just post one. Like, it's got to be, like, different times. You basically just have to spam, I feel. Yeah. So, basically, when I posted, like, one every other day, it wasn't working. I should have just kept all of them and just posted them all at once. 
or like three day you just try to figure out what times work best but like yeah. if it, it's so weird like the tiktok algorithm i just haven't figured out yet mm-hmm. because even tags don't seem to really do much no. like you could tag until the cows come home yeah well because be honest like do you look up it do you look up tags no, but sometimes depending on like if I saw something, I'm like, oh, what was that? I'll like literally type out what happens in yeah. the search box, yeah. so hoping that one of the words yeah. is tagged. That was that. Like, yeah, I agree because sorry, the leaf behind your <laughs> ring light was in a weird position, and I thought it was like a, a football player figurine and I was like since when did mom have that in the house the leaf it was just a leaf <laughs> yeah like the plant from where I'm sitting oh and I'm because saying. the ring lights are like hitting my eyes like it's like squinty through it fair anyway yeah tiktok is weird in some ways and odd in the other sometimes I'm like <laughs> because I'll watch like one clip and I won't realize that it ran the whole way through and it's like a weird one and then my whole like next like 10 are weird and I'm like oh. mm-hmm. so I have to type in something that I actually do like like dogs or something and then watch like a bunch of them so they'll just be on my for mm-hmm. you page I have to do the same thing when it comes to um, staying on gamer talk it is so tough to stay there especially when like the games are like about certain things because then I feel like it picks up on that and it'll show you like like IRL things based off of something like it's so I guess odd is the word. <laughs> yeah. But TikTok is like the one thing that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, I don't get it either. Because, but then you'll be talking about something and it'll show up on your TikTok in like a day. Yeah. I heard not to trust like the TikTok advertisements. I don't trust any advertisement on any social media. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'm like really tempted. I'm like, you know what? I know, I always see, like, this one where it's got, like, cute, like, flowy business pants and then, like, a matching top that would go with it. And I'm like, I don't want to buy it, but I don't want to put my money. I've always wanted to do a try-on haul for something online that I've always wanted to pick, but, like, never have. Maybe it's time I, like, break that bubble. You should. You know what I want to try? I was really tempted after... There's... My piece of my hair that just keeps sticking up that I'm not a fan of here. Okay. Um, okay, we're good. <laughs> it's every time I can see my head like turned, it's just like a little whoop, but it's gone now. So, um, going and filming somewhere else. Like when I came home and you were like, should we just, when I came home, when you came home, you were like, should we just drive to Toronto and go to the car show and film there? And I was like, yes. Like, me trying not to walk there right now and <laughs> film there. It's there all weekend. I know. But I have to meet with my group on Sunday. They can wait. <laughs> I made the meeting. <laughs> you cancel it. Listen, guys, I know I had this planned, but... In the little notes thing, too, I put mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because we have to write a report and it has to get split up. Like, mm. who's going to do what section of the analysis of this, of this, of that? And we didn't want it to just, like, everybody to wait to the very last minute until somebody took the lead on something. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put everybody in a chat. This meeting's mandatory. We're going to divvy it up, and then we'll meet again whenever we're done our parts. A leader, some would say. I mean, I don't know. Some might say that. Others. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't want to get a bad mark. And, like, I know... Nobody else does either. So, like, why wait that long? It was just somebody, like, people are just too nervous. Because we were put together. It's not like we picked our groups. Yeah, that's fair. I hate group projects. I do, but I don't. It doesn't really show much, though. Like, if you're in a group, like, I just don't really get, like, at the end of the day, like, how are you going to mark? You know what I mean? You also give, like, um, a participation thing about all your other... participation award? No, not an award, but like to <laughs> your people in your groups, like they give you like the little slip saying, how do you feel about this person's participation? And it's all anonymous. So I'm like, <laughs> I hate them all. Yeah, ruthless. And did nothing. <laughs> You're going to type up the whole project? Yeah. <laughs> Be like, I did it all. I did. Well, even they were like, every single person has to pass all five sections of this course. So if the person didn't do anything, like, let us know, because then they won't pass this section of the course, and I'll see them in summer school. And I was like, finger guns. 
Yes. Finger guns. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I don't miss that kind of stuff. I want to go back to school, but, like, I, I want to start working the job I go to school for, like, now. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like, my just problem. skip the school part. Ugh. But. Like, back when our parents were able to just come out of high school and start working right away. Yeah, looking Nobody back at it, a degree. Like, looking back at that, that's so not okay. Yeah. Like, well, to an extent, a like, doctor and a lawyer. That's the schooling they had. That's what you're paying. But, like, any other job, yeah. you could walk into the site and just do it. Come on in. Damn. I don't know. I could see the pros and cons. Like, I think some jobs you should be able to learn on because cause when you're in school for them, it's on. It's more like... Um, like, it's all hands-on, like... <laughs> It's more like certification, and it's usually the second semester. The first semester is all theory. Not really, like, it's not really theory, but kind of theory. And then the second semester is all clinical, some theory. And then the third semester is some theory and co-op. All tests. Usually your co-op hires you. And if you're thinking of doing dental assisting, everyone's always hiring dental assistants everyone I've had I'm not even in school for dental assisting anymore and I've had four dentists reach out to me to the place I moved to and be like hey like do you want to come work with us we're looking for somebody and you have experience why wouldn't you do that part-time while you're in school though I can't my school hours start at 11 30 what am I gonna do go in from 8 to 11 mm-hmm. and then I'm done at 4 and 2 30 most days but even on weekends? They don't do weekends. Mm. No dentist office is open on a weekend usually. That's unfortunate because that would have been sick. It would have been sick. To like work a couple, yeah. like not every day, but like work a few days yeah. a week and then. I'm in the middle of planning my next semester and I'm trying to make it so I don't have classes Thursday or Friday. You need to pick pretty like. Yeah. Um, and then try and find like, and it sucks because one of, you, one of them was a periodontist, which is like all gum and gum surgeries. Would have been so cool. To see the surgeries. To be the assistant on it. So he just has, like, string, and you just... <laughs> no, no. He doesn't <laughs> floss people's teeth. Like, he does, like, gum No, surgeries. string. Stitches. Oh, stitches, yeah. But I've seen that before. It's not bad. Why do you want to see gums? Because it's cool. Because whenever they, like, have to... If you have a weak stomach, please don't listen to this. Because, like, whenever you have to say, like, what mom just had done, they have to cut... The gums, flap it open so, like, you see the jawbone, clean what's ever under there, or do whatever they have to do, and then they just close the butt back down, stitch it up, whatever. Does it kind of make you wonder, like, how us as humans got to a point where, like, we knew that was okay to do, like, without messing up the human body? They're like, let's just open up your teeth. <laughs> Probably animal <laughs> testing. I know, but, like, who decided they wanted to do that? Like, oh, you got a sore tooth? Oh, barbers. Let me just. What? Barbers used to be dentists. Yeah, you used that to go was to barber my mind. for a dentist. And they would just pull your tooth. And then, if I do believe so, if I was, do believe. Yeah. They used to have a barber sit in on lectures for dissection. That's bizarre to me. Look at me using things I learned last semester from my history class that I thought would never come in handy. <laughs> I do that all the time like with useless facts. Useless yeah. facts. I'll be like, actually, and it's bizarre how it comes up in conversation. And you're like, actually, I know this. And yeah. like, you can just spew all this knowledge. Like, didn't you tell me something yesterday? And I was like, oh, actually, I did know that. I don't know. Honestly, we do, we do that a lot, Where though. Where did we go yesterday? Did I just stay here the whole time? Hmm? Where was I? We were in the States. Am I losing my mind? <laughs> yes, but I think we all are. Uh, I think somebody told me something and I was like, yeah, I did know that. But I forgot that I knew that. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, when you're like, oh, did you know this? And you're like, actually, I did, but I could never bring it up on my own. <laughs> <laughs> like, I knew it. I needed your assistance. Yeah. Or, like, I like when they, once again, talking back on TikTok, when they're like, um, this fact about a shark is so sad and then you swipe and it's like he'll never be able to vacuum underwater <laughs> because he doesn't have a carpet or something. <laughs> I actually love those videos. Yeah. They're so funny. It is very funny. <laughs> this interesting fact. Yeah. 
those are interesting. Like those, the facts that you just like useless until they're weren't. Like, guess there is no such thing as a useless fact then. That voice. I want to know a fact that I'll keep in my head until the day I die and never tell it to anybody. But I can't do that because if I find out a stupid fact, I tell everyone I know. <laughs> but not only that, but it's, if it's a fact that you've learned and you put it in your head, right, that you're like not going to say anything, there will be a conversation one day that comes up and you'll be like, oh, oh hey! We'll see. We'll see. Actually, <laughs> like that, I never thought I would ever use that fact, but like. The shark vacuuming? No. <laughs> that either. <laughs> but the, like, barbering dissection thing. But I learned a bunch of stuff in history, and we'll see if it ever comes up in my lifetime. History? No, like, like it was mostly about revolutions. Mm. And, like, the industrial revolutions or paradigm shifts. You're learning like that, that for accounting? No, it was an elective. Mm. It was just an easy course to take. Because you had to take an essay course. Or mm. Mm-hmm. So... But we learned about that, so I was like, oh, we'll see if I ever use any other part of that chorus. That's fair. Yeah. And I also have a classics election, but it ran year-round. I don't think I'll take it again. It's kind of dumb. That's fair. I had one elective in university that I absolutely loved. It was my medieval and renaissance class. Mm -hmm. It went from, like, 8 p.m., 7 or 8 p.m. to, like... 10 p.m. I wouldn't go ever. I would not attend at all. It was fun because it's like you're learning medieval stuff, so it's like yeah. And it was like in the middle of the week, so it's not like anything was happening. But I still wouldn't go. (laughs) I just thought it was interesting. I do like the content, but the like the um, I don't know the time frame. The slides just boring. I guess like it's not like I don't know. I need a little stimulation in my head and it's just a black screen with white writing what (laughs) the slides like for me to actually want to pay attention like it needs to look cool like i need to actually be grabbed like some of the things he says i'm like oh that is cool but like half the time i can't concentrate because it's just a black screen with white writing on it and i'm like show me some pictures like make this a picture book i can respect that right Mm -hmm. my head my mind needs to be stimulated while learning that's why i said it I'm like that's why I was saying about the hands-on thing is that like I'm a hands-on person yeah so I like doing as opposed to just sitting which is why I'm like I think there should be more jobs that allow you to go in and like even if I'm there watching actively is much better than me sitting in a room and like listening to someone yap about it yeah but like nothing you gotta know to see why you're doing it it's like no I don't <laughs> someone's gonna tell me I was gonna say yeah like I think that'll come with the patient (laughs) it is very true once again back to when I was in dental assisting I learned my job mostly by being there in your clinical you go to a dental school once a week and you assist the dental students so you can have that actual practice of hands on but only certain schools do it because there's only one dental school per province. Two that in, is crazy. Two in Ontario. But, so only the city I went to and then Toronto get to do it. But all you do is fillings most of the time. They do rotations, but you don't really get much to, get to see much. I ended up in the peds floor in the endo area a lot, which... I hate. They're my least favorite thing to do. I hate dealing with those patients. Not patients. Those appointments. Okay, I was like, what are you you trying to get at here? I hate dealing with those appointments. Um, Endos are the most boring thing in the entire world, and I am so glad. Like, That's one of the things I'm thankful I never have to do again. Whoa, did you (laughs) have to do it again? (laughs) Um... I but yeah, gonna, it, yeah, it's go basic, it. yeah, it's basically just doing fillings, and then until you actually go and work with somebody, it changes completely because you have to like adapt yourself to the dentist you're working for, but also like you didn't do anything in school besides fillings, and then I guess if your dentist only does fillings in your set, but if they do more, then I learned everything outside of school. I didn't learn anything in school. <laughs> You know, and it's so much too. The cost of school is like kind of ridiculous for what it is for a piece of paper. Like, I can't even do anything with my piece of paper right now. Yeah, and 
if you have to take like an exam outside of your schooling. I did take an exam outside my schooling that was six hundred dollars for me to practice in Ontario. Six hundred dollars. Nope. I'd be like, no. <laughs> it's six hundred dollars, and then if you fail it and write it, you have to write it again, and it's four fifty. Every time you fail it, you can fail it up to three times. And then what? Start over. So from day one, not school. Six hundred, four fifty, four fifty. Six hundred, four fifty. No, go to school. The whole year again. Yeah. Another five k. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's a money grab. No shit. I don't even remember. Like I just remember going into the school to write the exam and then just okay. Like, I don't remember any of the questions. I studied for, like, two weeks, though, and it was hard because it was, like, the beginning of summer, and I was like, I just want to lay down. <laughs> so I love you to lay down. I just want to lay down in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I was streaming, and I was like, oh, if, like, we ever reach this, like, I will do an ASMR stream, and someone straight up said... <laughs> I would never follow someone who does ASMR. But like, dude, they just went off. Okay, and thank I was you. like, okay. Like, I'm sorry for you. Like, I was like, whether I whisper or not, I'm still going to do it. Like, whether you yeah. like it or not. Yeah. Like, I don't like the people that, um, well, I like the people, but I don't like the ASMR <laughs> videos that when people breathe heavy while they're eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's not ASMR. It's like you need the help. Like, come on. Um, mukbangs and stuff like that are definitely like a specific ASMR. Like you can't like sometimes on TikTok, there's those people that will eat like um like the candied fruit or like I was obsessed mm. for the longest time with. Did you ever see the ice with the colorful water on the inside? No. Oh my gosh, they looked so cool. It was like. so snowy ice mm. and then i don't know what the inside was but like they would bite into it and like it's all liquid so it would just kind of like burst in the water oh. would fall out. it was like it's like a snack too oh i saw like the plastic things like they're fruits yeah and plastic and then they bite into it and it just like explodes which speaking of that i found those apple juice things when i was in the states like the apple juice that people were biting and it, it sounds like an apple crunch, yeah did you, wanna... did you bite it? No, I didn't buy one, but oh. I was thinking maybe I should. It's kind of dirty. Well, I'll rinse it. Yeah. And then I'll tell you if it's real or fake. We can put it up on the TikTok. The TikTok. The TikTok. Like the YouTube. The YouTubes. Um, the TikTok. We should have bought one yesterday. We went to the States yesterday, and we should have just bought a whole bunch of random stuff. You guys were shopping without me. I didn't even get to go anywhere. We just went to food. We didn't think you would want to after getting off the plane. You thought you would want to just go home. Well, it's not like we can't go another day. <laughs> no. And just grab things that... They don't have caramel bars. They have care... Caramel... Chocolate. <laughs> no, it's caramel... Cadbury... Caramel... Something. I mean, it's a bar. It's not like the big rectangle. It's just a bar. Oh. But it was caramel. Like a caramel bar. Interesting. But it's, it was called caramel something. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if it tastes the exact same. I guess we could get that. Yeah, I would love to get a couple different, like, treat boxes from around the world. And, like, I think that would be so much fun to do. It would be fun to do. But We even- have to do the hot ones challenge. I've just been anxious. Sorry. <laughs> you yawned. I didn't yawn! Um... Trying to blame me when yawning. Being anxious makes me yawn. <laughs> uh, the hot one challenge, yes. But I was also going to say we went to Meyer yesterday, and the amount of pop tart flavors that they have there—it's kind of rude. But like, did you get any? No, because my favorite's still strawberry. So Canada has strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, and s'mores. I think we have s'mores. That's we also have like chocolate chip and stuff. I've been told to try the brown sugar. Oh, those are so good. You can also get unfrosted ones, which kind of seems a little sus. But, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm trying to think of the weird flavors I've tried, but I don't know. I don't, I'm scared to try the like, like, 
blue rasp wild berry <laughs> I, kind of the heck really I would try called. it. I would try any of the fruit ones for sure. Yeah, wild berry, yes, but I know there's like a blue one, and I'm like, I blueberry. Don't want to try it. No, Are you like talking about the one that, that's like or... the purple with the blue icing? Yeah. I wonder what that is. is that, mixed, it's like berry, berry blast or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to trust it. <laughs> you don't want to trust it? Yeah. Well, you don't got a choice. I just want my icing to be either white or pink, or like chocolate. Really not chocolate because I just want fruit stuff. So really just white or pink. Icing deserves to be white or pink. Did you like toaster strudels? I loved toaster strudels. We have some at the house still. I hated them. Why? I don't know what it was. I just don't like them. They're so good. They're flaky. They're gross. They're like a, a passion flaky. Is that what they're called? Mm. <laughs> those pa- those other pastry things that like little like where you buy like little debbies and stuff. Like a flaky pastry. Flaky paste. Like a pastry. I thought it was called passion flakies. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. They're pastries <laughs> that you get like in the aisle with like the cosmic brownies and stuff. Yeah, but those are just. And that's not like a flaky pastries, but they're pretty sure they call like passion flakies or something. Passion <laughs> like, flakies. Near anyway, the like a warm one of those with icing on it. If I'm going to that aisle, I'm getting the cosmic you know what? brownies. I'm getting, like, <laughs> Yeah, facts. I've never even had, like, cupcake. What? <laughs> I've never had cupcake. <laughs> little Debbie has cupcake. The brown, the chocolate ones with the little white swirl on it. Mm-hmm. They're called cupcakes. I've never had them. I actually just had one. Have you had a zebra cake? Yes. Yeah. Those are Yeah, good. I was obsessed Joe Louis? No. You never had a Joe Louis? No. What are you, what are you doing? I had Joe Louis. Joe Lois. <laughs> passion <laughs> Flaky. <laughs> I actually don't know. It's called a Passion Flaky. What in the no name? Give me that. What is that? What do you mean what in the no name? <laughs> it's these. Like, we've had them. Nanny and Papa used to have them all the time at the house. Oh, ew. It's got, like, the cream and the jelly. Yeah. That is not the same pastry. No, it's not, but it's like, like that, but the cream's on the outside and it's warm. <laughs> cream and icing are... <laughs> That's like a whipped cream. Yeah, but no, it's just not. Added a little, like, <laughs> let it flatten. <laughs> if you had a little thick. Yeah. No. Well, anyway, so the deal with those just strudels. I just don't like them, but I would eat the blue icing all the time. I forgot they had blue icing because I always buy the white, the strawberry. The blue is where it's at because the other one's a blueberry pastry, I think, and that's why you get the blue icing because oh, it's like a no. purple. See, I always buy the strawberry. The blue icing's the best. Um, well, if you're not getting a cosmic you brownie, literally yeah. just said that you didn't like them. Why would you buy them and get the blue icing? No, when Ainsley or anyone had them, like, I'd only eat the icing. So good luck eating your toaster strudel with that icing. so rude. <laughs> and also, what was I to do? Starve. <laughs> I, okay, we'll listen. <laughs> You put two in the toaster. Two. Two. Okay. You eat one just because you have to. <laughs> and then you put two icing packs on the one. One and a half to be exact. And then you eat the other half. So the first one doesn't get any icing. No. Then you hate your life while you're eating it. It sucks and you want to throw it out but you can't because you need that other pack of icing. Because if you were to throw that one out, you'd have to throw the icing out. It's just moral. My moral compass. <laughs> Moral compass. Yeah. I mean, it's just expensive. eat the toaster strudel raw. Not raw. <laughs> <laughs> I have had a cool toaster strudel before and it was gross, but not raw. It just raw kind of just cooled toast. down. I let it cool down too much because that jelly catches on fire. What? <laughs> the jelly. But in first, the you're, first you're saying eat it raw. Now oh. you're saying this, this is on fire. <laughs> it's on fire. You put it in the toaster and you have to let it cool. Mm. Or else if you bite into it, the jelly's going to burn your tongue. Like, you're going to get sugar burn, basically. They do say sugar is, I think, one of the worst the hottest, burns you yeah, can get. Exactly. So you're going to basically rip your mouth apart. You're going to get that. <laughs> so I was letting it cool. Forgot about it. Too and cold. then it turned cold and I was like, ugh. But I still ate it. Do you ever microwave them? No, because they would just like... Flop. <laughs> like you would try to pick it up and it would just you would have a flaccid yeah, yeah. like i hope i was in like looney tunes while i was eating it so the sound would just be like 
like <laughs> 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 it's usually like a <laughs> <laughs> noise <laughs> when something falls flat you know mm-hmm. like absolutely um, daffy duck's like nose whenever he <laughs> yeah i wish i lived in a cartoon and i could just like me too make up sounds for everything i did i i i do and i've come to terms with it like if i'm doing something i'm like wah, wah. yeah but like i would also love to just walk around like spongebob and like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> like the entire time that's why i wore these jeans you heard me around that i was like whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> Oh my god! I like every time I wear my gargoyles, no matter which ones. I got the gray ones. The gray ones are so loud. <laughs> yeah. It's like damn. We know Tara's coming. I like to do that when I'm wearing snow pants. <laughs> Stand really close together. So I my throat. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even have to stand really close together. I have no pants are like this big, but I'll just like stand there and just like move my knees back and forth just so it makes the sound. <laughs> winter jackets do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, windbreakers a lot whenever I have a coat on. <laughs> I noticed that with your Ferrari jacket yesterday. <laughs> you swing those things, I do. man. I like oh my gosh. Them. Get more momentum. Break through the air easily. Ironic, because it was a windbreaker. But I agree. I think there should be sound effects IRL. Along with musicals, I think musicals should be more... I've made my life a musical at this point because if I do something and it reminds me of a song, I'll start singing the song. Like My question is, in musicals, do they know they were just singing? Because I actually don't sometimes know. they're like... <sighs> after they just finished singing... Why don't singing you say a high like, school musical? <laughs> <laughs> they're like breathing heavily and it's like okay well did you are you just gonna ignore the fact that you basically just did a workout for three minutes I and think ten seconds the musical or is, the musical is for the viewer but i think in show so without breaking really that fourth wall they're just the like song. talking it out yeah they're like figuring it out like like i'm not gonna stop that's who i am <laughs> yeah i'm gonna give this all like now that's now now granted bet on it he might have sung that <laughs> <laughs> Like, Zac Efron very well might have been on that golf course singing to the heavens because I he would. wanted to. Like, every time I go golfing with Kevin, I'm like, hold on. Hold up. <laughs> Gotta work on my swing. Bring it on <laughs> You know, I'm like, I need my high school musical moment here, so can you just give it to me? He's like, yeah, okay. He's find the pond and just... Yeah. I'm like, bring me to a pond. <laughs> bring, me, bring me to a pond. I'm not allowed to drive the golf cart. <laughs> You're not allowed to drive the golf cart. Yeah. That's the best part of any golf cart. I do, but then about like hole eight, he's like, no. It's Why? It's my turn. I do a little... And I also don't know where I'm going. <laughs> nice. You're not allowed to drive it on certain parts of the golf course. And you didn't know? I didn't know. I drove it right across. Not the green. Right across something. Maybe I drove it into like a sand bank or something. That would probably be frowned yeah. on. We're in the sand dunes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the book I just read was about a golfer. Conveniently. Romance? Yep. Hmm. Yes. It's good. You can read it, actually. I literally just bought it. He's working on his riz and his swings. I respect that. It's good. Riz. Good riz? But she's stubborn. (laughs) I'll let you read it before I tell you the whole story. (laughs) Basically, think high school musical on steroids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's nothing like high school musical. Nothing will ever be like high school musical. This is true. It's literally in its own realm at this point. Or, like, Hairspray. They would have had to know they were singing. So, yeah. There are only on the television th- spots, though. But only in the television because it was a musical show. Yes. It's the same thing with when Sharpay is singing to people. Because, like, she's performing. Oh, yeah, like Bob to the Top. Mm-hmm. And whatever. Or I was thinking of Hoon and Hoon and I hate that that's the full name. It's <laughs> Hawaii's national fish. I know, but like the fact that you had to say the whole thing. <laughs> Does she have one in the third movie? Yes. No. Uh, performance? Yeah, it's like the blue one during the yeah. end of the show, but I wouldn't really call it just hers because it's like a series of music. Yeah, I think that's the only one that... And Tiara Gold is in it. Yeah. I hate her. <laughs> I know she's just a the fictitious character. character. <laughs> yeah. Still hate her, though. 
Yeah, I think she rubbed everybody like the wrong way because she was supposed to. That was her character. Yeah, I know. It's the same way how everybody hates Professor Umbridge in Harry Potter. But I will die on the hill of saying that that actress did a fantastic job oh, yeah. to make she you made hate, me hate someone. Her, yeah. like, and like when you watch her interviews, she's always just like, they have me playing some horrible toad of a woman. She's in other things. Mm-hmm. She's in The Queen. The Queen? The, the crown. crown, the crown about the, the queen. Yeah, yeah. She's in that, but she's in another movie. She's in a couple. Of... I remember the day I told you Molly Weasley was in Mamma Mia. Who's Molly Weasley? The, the mom. mom is she the? She's not in Mamma Mia. She's the short friend. Oh the, yeah, the, yeah. I realized it... that she's in so much <laughs> stuff now. I'm like whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> And is I also that just Mrs. Realized that, Weasley? <laughs> yeah, literally. Mm-hmm. And have I'm like, or she's the girl from Mamma Mia, like the aunt from Mamma Mia. But I just realized that mm-hmm. what's her face, the literal main character of Mamma Mia, the girl. Yeah, I don't know what Amanda. Her, oh yeah, um, she's in other stuff too. Mean Girls. Yeah, she's Karen. Like, she's, like, Karen. She's, Karen. she's Karen, yeah. and that blew my mind. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> She went from that to this. <laughs> but I didn't even, like, it yeah. took me until, I think, a month ago to realize that. Like, I literally... That's recent? Yeah. I texted Ash, and I was just like, did you know that Karen is the girl from Mamma Mia? Like, I just, I didn't, it never put two okay, but what did Ashley it. say? She was just like, what? No, I didn't. She didn't... You guys. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, just never really paid attention. Maybe if I watched them, like, close together, I would have been like, oh, we just watched a movie with that person. Fair. Speaking of Ashley, aside from like Ainsley, should we have people on the podcast? I think so. Since we're like, kind of like, obviously everybody here knows like, we kind of ramble a lot and like I feel like <laughs> we could probably get some interesting like, not a, not advice, but like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just like, Like this episode is probably just me like, messing my words and talking really, really fast, get my whole story in. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I mean... I'm just thinking about we went through a lot. We talked about pastries, schooling, <laughs> high school musical. You're gonna have fun titling this one. <laughs> like, yeah, do you know how hard it is to title? I'm just I just pick out like a highlight and I'm like, okay. Yeah. This, this, and coffee. Yeah. Instead of live, laugh, love, it's live, laugh, coffee. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's the name of the title and when people get this far, they'll be like, Oh, that's why it's called Live Laugh Coffee. <laughs> get to the end, you'll understand why. Yeah, literally. Honestly, half of the time when we film these things, I'm like, oh gosh, like I have no idea what we're going to talk about. And then it's like, we say one 40 thing. minutes. I don't know how long it's been. Once again, I don't have my glasses on. I should just start wearing them for every episode. I just straight because, up like, can't see. So we're going to get... Yeah. <laughs> YouTube's getting a show. Yeah. <laughs> see, we're at 50 minutes though. Like when I was like, when we first started, we were like, we had no plan of what to talk about. And now and then it was just like, okay, well, it was Pop-Tarts, I think, that really got us going. <laughs> it was you in America flavoring. Yeah, because it's insane. Like, every time I go there, I'm just like, oh my god, like, all the Oreo flavors. Yeah, like, why don't we have those? Yeah, like, what do we have? Like, we have birthday year. cake. And golden. Yeah. That's it. And, like, maybe <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll get the, like, chocolate fudge cookie one. Everybody, do you remember how obsessed you were with those cookies? Peak Freens, but the ones with the cream and the strawberry jelly in the middle. Yeah, I'm always obsessed with them. Those are good. Every time they're on a plate, I'm like, yoink. And I'll still eat them the way I do. Open them up, eat the bottom. And stick your tongue through the hole. Eat around the (laughs) jelly and then eat the jelly last. As you should. Yeah, or sometimes if I'm feeling really, you know, I won't even take it apart. I'll just eat around it. So I get like jelly layers. Cream and then the bottom cookie. I respect that, and I do the same. I remember when you used to like stick your tongue through it though. Like you'd like break the. You jelly. can't not like just like when you have like a lifesaver mint in. <laughs> you have to put your tongue through. Or whistle through. Try and whistle through it. Like who whistles through a candy? Well, you'll try next time. <laughs> I can. I mean, but why? No, because I'm bored. Like, what else am I gonna do? Like, just <laughs> use it like a regular mint. I don't know. Multi-function. All I'm, all I'm picturing is trying to put it like in your mouth, right? So you have the circle, 
And you try to like blow and it just... <laughs> oh no, you put it on the inside of your teeth. Why not just whistle? But yeah, I guess Because it's right. fine. I guess your face functions. Right. I'll never forget. There was one time um, there was this girl. This was in high school. She was you could chewing. be like, sorry. You could be like, oh, I have to whistle, but I have bad breath. Boom. <laughs> Mint whistle. <laughs> Wait, but they got flavored ones. No, not life. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the mint ones. I know, but I'm just saying you could do this. Yeah, but those are gummy. No, they're not. They've got the hard ones. Yeah, but those are hard candy. I'm talking mint. And it has to be the right consistency. It's got to be the chalky. Okay, okay. Mm. I see what you're saying. Sorry, yeah, that's what you were saying. I know. Side note, though, I was just thinking, like, we definitely need to do, like, a... I can't wait to do podcasts, like, on-site places. Or, like... Tara, if you're willing to go to Toronto right now, we can go. Well, right now, there's no point. It's It's, one (laughs) o'clock. Yeah, that's three hours. Okay, well, bright and early. Oh, I can't go tomorrow. Saturday, we're going bright and early. Right in the morning. We'll leave us. Wouldn't be cool. For the record, it's an exotic car show that's happening. Oh, yes. The car show in Toronto. They've got some pretty cool cars. They have some, like, new cars that are coming out. Like, I saw they did, like, a a Jeep. You know what? Keep going. Keep going. (laughs) I don't know what that means. Um, I don't want to say obstacle course because it wasn't like duck dodging, you know, Dive. diving. <laughs> yeah. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, dodge. No, it's What's just it like called? A, like, you tell me. Like an, a terrain. <laughs> Ramp! <laughs> just one terrain? Like, how many? They did a Jeep showing? I don't know. Yeah. Like, so whatever. So they went up a hill, went down it. <laughs> <laughs> Through water, I think. But they also have the Barbie car there, I heard. My dream car is uh, a GTR, but I've accepted the fact I'm never going to be able to afford one. You could. Like, if I don't want a maybe house. You, yeah, whenever you're, like, retired. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, why not? And then there's also a Red Bull Formula One car there. Let's spit on it. It's still a Formula One car. Yeah. We got beef with Red Bull. I have a lot of beef with Red Bull because they're doing good. <laughs> You always hate the winner, unless it's your team. You always hate the winner, yeah. yeah. Unless it's your team, and then the moment it's your team, it's like, yes! I knew you had it in you! You're a hate watcher. He does. Sometimes it's annoying. You know what? He's a very good driver, and he used to be... He's gotten better with like his like PR, I guess. HR, whatever it's called. Like his uh, media. Like what he says. And I like his so his social like yeah, media yeah. stuff has gotten like yeah like he's grown with it, so and he's a very good driver and that's probably why I don't like him. But he's winning every race and I'm just like, oh, like Red Bull gives you wings. Ugh. Like go drive for a different team that doesn't have like a lot of money to build the car. Aren't most of the F1 cars the same engine though? No, or similar engines? Like no. some of them are they all, all completely similar? Different? Yes, no. Like, Red Bull has, Red Bull has, obviously, Red Bull and their Honda engine, but they also have another team, and it's called Visa Cash App Racing Bulls Formula One team. Mouthful. Yeah, just changed this year. And they're Honda, and then Ferrari uses Ferrari, and then Alfa Romeo uses Ferrari, Alfa Tari, I believe, which is now Stake F1 team. I don't know if they changed, Mm. because they changed team names but i'm pretty sure they're honda as well and then mercedes uses mercedes whatever so yeah there are like a couple that use the same ones but usually it's like a a partner team like because alfa romeo is also italian and stuff ferrari's like yeah he's our engine fair enough Mm -hmm. and because red bull literally has two teams they use both honda engines but it'll be ford engines next year so we'll see that's interesting. Okay, so it's like, it's kind of crazy how all of them are utilized in such different ways that the cars perform differently, even though like it's like similar engine. Do you know what I mean? Well, I'm assuming Ferrari builds their own engine first, and then they, like, build it to <laughs> Alpha Tauri's, like, standard what they want. Yeah. But it's all about, like, the shape of the car and, like, the aerodynamics of it and how heavy you want a certain part of it to be versus the other and everybody else and how heavy your driver is in the car and 
you know, all that other stuff. But I don't know what it is. Like, every time they race, like, Red Bull, it's just, like, they put, like... They dominate Literally the Red Bull in the car. Like, they got wings, they put jet fuel in the car, and they're taking <laughs> off. Like, it's not even a race. That's crazy. I wonder what it is. Is he, like, a super light driver or something? Like, no. Nope. He's just... Cheating, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I okay. think they spent a little extra on the car. See, that's the thing. Everybody has a cap. You can only spend this amount of money on your car. You I, think think, I think it's BS. I think they should be able to spend whatever they want. I mean, really, what, it, what more are they going to buy if they're making everything themselves? Because you have to be, like... They're making everything themselves, but they have to buy the parts. Mm, okay. Right? Yeah. So, like, all the pay, all the pieces that they need to buy for this car. They could buy, I don't know, probably a better one, but they want to use that money somewhere else in the car. But if you got unlimited money to spend, now the best of the best, number one and everything. That's fair. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see how the season goes. I'm excited for the next season because Lewis Hamilton is moving to Ferrari, so maybe he'll... Uh, do better <laughs> the team. I don't want to say anything because I like the current driver he's taking over for. Who is he taking over for? Carlos Sainz. Mm. Is yeah. he retired now? Like, is he done? No. Or is he just moving. switching? Okay. Don't know where to because, like, this Lewis Hamilton news, like, came out at, like, Abruptly. an odd time. Yeah. yeah. Usually they do it over their summer break, which is in August for two or three weeks. It's called silly season where everybody just starts switching, like, one sets off another and... Everybody switches seats. but then, musical chairs. Yeah, but then this year was the exact same as last year, so everybody was like, it's too quiet. And then it went off. Silly season's early! Oh, yeah, literally. Like, super pre-silly season. But the new season comes out this Friday. Tomorrow! I did not have to yell that. <laughs> I just got like, oh my god, tomorrow's Friday. So You're I'll passionate. finish that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll finish that tomorrow. I'll start it tomorrow and finish it tomorrow. Yeah, I'll start this season because I do want to watch the show, so. Have you caught up to date? No, I just I haven't started. You spent two weeks, ten days watching different shows that had another five seven seasons but can you blame me selling sunset is addicting it is very addictive it's so stupid like it's one of those shows where it's like you're watching for the drama like there's no other point like the houses 10 million dollar houses oh that's nice but i'm here to see what christine did to so and so like i'm here to see how chriselle handled that (laughs) yeah her wedding was cool though i would never do that but having everybody wear white Mm -hmm. and then wear the black dress that's really bold I wouldn't have expected anything less but like it was super cool (laughs) yeah there's so many things about that show like I have questions about but I'm not gonna I know I do find myself doing that like why didn't you just say this or why didn't you ask that what does bother me though about the show is that they're like oh wait like and they don't say what they actually meant they'll be like well why did you say this and they won't like say anything they'll just like say it I'm like tell them why you said it because you were defending them and then they wouldn't be mad at each other insert meme what was the reason <laughs> <laughs> literally like they never tell the truth like why do you have to lie about what you said it wouldn't even be bad true like I never understood it like if you just told them the truth it would be fine but then I'm sure there's people behind the cameras being like don't say anything 100 percent uh but still don't buy us <laughs> we're fakes but yeah it's it's annoying but yes i watched those shows when i should have been watching drive to survive drive to survive mm-hmm. but it's okay because like as you can see i'm a good binger like <laughs> yeah, i but you had 10 days to do and yeah but I, I was doing other stuff like i was working like i've been editing and yeah, then i was that's true. watching bridgerton did you bring <laughs> your laptop with you i did i do it every day mm-hmm you were watching Bridgerton too, another show. <laughs> that was only two seasons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of how many episodes? Ten? Eight? Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah. I miss when they used to be like 20. 24 seasons, like 24 episode seasons? Yeah. Because <sighs> you're like, don't stop. Yeah. Believe it. And, then it's and like, like 24 make... weeks out of a year? Like, that's not a lot. It's only half. <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying when on Netflix you see that little next episode and you're like, yeah, yeah 
that. But there's nothing more depressing when it just shows like what it recommends. The next is. Yeah, the next is what's going to play next. And it's like, no. no. Or like you wish there was a part two to something, like a movie or something, and you're just like, what do you mean they haven't made it yet? Like, what do you they mean it's not ever being open? Like, come on. It was a perfect way to do a, a second movie. Yeah, 100%. Mm. I like how we got back to talking about shows and movies after we were just about to close out. Well, full circle, we, we started people. We started with the shows. Go. Started with the shows, and then we went to and shows we in the middle, shows. and now we're going <laughs> to just keep going So there's a it. theme, at least. Yeah. Well, whenever yes. I'm watching shows, I like to drink coffee with it, so I guess it breaks out. I drink coffee all day, so. You have that little Dunkin' Donuts, like, shot in the fridge. Yep. I had to drink mine yesterday. The moment I tasted it, I was like, oh my god, I'm addicted. I'll drink it after this. Perfect. Anyways, we should have people on. I I agree. I think it could be fun, and I have some ideas, including some for like a... Mother? Like a teleconference styled one as well. I think could be a lot of fun. Because I have some conference. Yeah, so it's like, like we'll be here, but that the person will be like online from wherever they are. So then it kind of opens us up to maybe introducing some some other people. And introducing ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. I was thinking start local first. As, yeah, like we're starting family first, and then like friends. Oh, do you? Uh... Mm. Mm, I'm just thinking about a lot of stuff in my head. <laughs> you guys literally just witnessed her getting lost in thought. No, just... I just, yeah, okay, whatever. Anyways. So I want to know. I'll tell you after the camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So hopefully Ainsley is with us um, within Soon. the next couple episodes. Mm-hmm. And then we should also wear green at some point for St. Patty's Day. We should Absolutely. do something. Should we have like... I was drinks. gonna say a beer, but like I don't really want a beer. I don't drink beer. We can make a green drink. You don't like margaritas. <laughs> I don't like margaritas. Uh, mojitos are green. True. Or we could just get a drink and put green food coloring in it. Or those mimosas that we had. On Christmas. Oh, green the mimosas. mimosas. Yes. With a little blue Rocco. Mhm. That sounds like a good time. I'm down for that. Well, that's it for this episode. We went. When was the last time I checked the time? I said it was 40 minutes, and now it's. Oh, I guess it's just an hour. We spent another 20 minutes talking more about shows. Not my issue, and not mad about it at all either. Well, thanks for watching. Come mm-hmm. back next week. We are now going every week, correct? Yes. <laughs> Potentially, if we, we miss a Sunday, so- then something's happening back in production. <laughs> that but also it's just right now with her being in classes we're just trying to uh figure out but uh it should be every week from now on which is exciting yay i'm pretty so, i'm pretty stoked about it yes i am the editor so if you guys have any questions feel free to or, shoot me a message yeah if you have any like do you want us to put in like a clapping or a soundtrack in the background like, how about i actually real? how about i i mean <laughs> hey yeah if you want like a laugh track like i got you but also i will start putting in like when i say things and like i'm referencing things like i have to start putting them in so then you guys understand what we're talking about because i feel like sometimes i'm just like I, I forget. To go, like I'm trying to find the iconic picture of us, and I cannot find it anywhere. And I'm it's very, gotta be on Facebook. It. It's nowhere on Facebook. It's I went on Mom's new Facebook. I went on Mom's old Facebook. I went on yours. I went on mine. Mm-hmm. Who else there's Facebook would be on it? Oh, you know where it might be? Papa's iPad. Actually, is it on the slideshow? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, anyway, once we find the iconic picture, it will be going up on the Instagram because it needs to be shown to the world. I promise you, like, it is somewhere. Like, it has to be. It has to be. It has to be. It's not. I literally already checked everywhere because I was also finding those pictures of us from all of our trips. (laughs) So I went through everything. Well, did you? Because now I will, I'll take a look too, though. Anyway, once we find it, we'll blow it up. It'll be the new picture of the background. Oh my gosh, yeah, I will put it over top of that. That's so a big picture. That. Like, it looks very petite. Yeah. It's <laughs> not, but it's, like, very, very dull. Let me just... Like, that's my hand on it. 
I mean, for the people that are listening and not watching it, you're gonna be like, "What is she talking about?" But anyway, we're gonna look for that. We are not. I'm looking. gonna find it. Yes, but you don't have to do it on camera. It's fine. <laughs> well, now I'm just determined. Also, She's though, determined. this is pretty iconic too. When I had purple hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll post this one too. It's us driving around. You know. And we have another one like that, too. Mm-hmm. We have a bunch of them like that. But anyway, yes. we're logging off this one. We will see you in the next week's video anyway. Hopefully, hopefully with this picture. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully with the picture that's put up here. Um, but thanks for joining the Coffee Chateau where the conversations are good and the espresso's better. Thanks for watching. Bye.